What you what you have already said seems to a certain extent answer the question that I have, but there's so much charge around it that I feel that I still need to okay. talk about <clears throat> it. Yes. Uh, for years, I've experienced a tremendous amount of anxiety, and it seems to really kind of coalesce around this idea that I must protect this body, yes. which then manifests in the continuous quest for perfect health. Yes. And... Yeah, there's just this very strong feeling. I've got to be so careful about what I eat. I've got to take such good care of myself. I must absolutely preserve yes. my health. Yes. And I can see under that that there's still this belief that I am this body. And in yeah. order to preserve awareness and consciousness, I need this body as the vehicle for this to happen. And I almost feel like somehow I'm, I'm stuck here mm. that I want this anxiety to go away and at the same time I'm the observer of wanting the anxiety to go away and the observer of the anxiety but there's still so much fear I guess around the health of the body and food and how to take care of it and I guess you said what do you fear about letting go and I fear letting go that somehow the body is just going to fall apart yes it will someday you know? yeah. <laughs> huh? Even with yeah. the best care, even with the best care, mm -hmm. mm, it's a burning candle, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's not to say you should not take care of your body if this is what feels natural. Mm? But if there is some fear behind it, mm -hmm. it's mm. all motivated by. Fear. And who is who is the one who feels I must really preserve this body? Mm. You see? Mm -hmm. it, Have you? It's the body wants to preserve. The I don't body. feel this is true. That no? is the body that wants it. The body is not the sentient uh, center of experiencing. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make decisions in that way. Mm. The thought is arising from wherever it's been picked up that I must take care of this body at any cost, mm. because without the body I cannot exist. Therefore, when this body goes, if it goes, then finito. Mm. Curtains down. So it leaves, it may give you good health in this body, but always there is some anxiety, must be there. Mm? Because there is behind, you see that other bodies perish, they suffer. Mm? So there is an anxiety, I cannot let this happen here. So you cannot really be enjoying your existence even. I don't feel we are really enjoying it. You feel somehow, if you identify very strongly with the bodily existence, yeah, there's already a subtle traumatic state, because we feel, you know, it's one day it's going to, it's not eternal, this body. Hmm? Whatever constructs the body, that is a different story. Because you cannot destroy the elements, they are recycled somehow. But in this construction, you cannot keep it. So while it is here, find the thing that cannot decay. Find the thing which is even beyond health. Find that which is beyond health, and see which is the permanent. You see, then make your stand with the permanent. Something witnesses this body, and uh, at a certain age you start to see little things are happening. Mm. <laughs> huh? You're still younger than me, so uh, you start to see things, OK, all right. Huh? And can you feel these changes and not be afraid, you see? When you hold on, like I was pointing to that sense of I am, spontaneously the fear will go. You will find your home, you will find that aspect of yourself. This aspect you may find, it is continuously changing. Hmm? In a way, it, the anxiety is kind of like something familiar. Like you would said, the mind will welcome you with open arms. It's like yes, the anxiety yes. is something that is 
familiar and it's something to almost to turn back to yes. because mm, I don't really don't even have the words for this, but sometimes I see or perceive that there is only this, that that there's only this. That there's only yes, yes. this. Yes, yes. And a dropping into that almost. Yes. But then I think there's the turn back and turn away and the and the fear and then I go back to well I must take care of the you know, I must yes. take care of the body. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Something is taking care of the body. Something is taking care of the body. In everybody that it resides is taking care. Even look at the fly. It's living on poo. Okay? But if you go close and you look at him, you see him. Huh? Even he knows how to take care of the body, something is taking care of the body, even in this one. even. So something is here taking care of the body. And he's doing it automatically. You see? To some extent, but it's not uh, devoted to the body. Hmm? It's not devoted to the body. What is it that makes the dis? Or is there? A, I guess there's the question of the doer. What is taking? What is taking care of the body? Is it just identification with the thoughts that are arising, and these thoughts they must take care of? No, the, some the intelligence body? is already it's a package deal. Uh -huh. Once it comes in, as already everything is, take, is is functioning together. Who is taking care of making sure you are hungry at the right time? Who is doing it? Who is taking care of the beating heart, hmm? or the moving lungs? Huh? You? It's not you. If it was you, you could not sleep because you might just forget to breathe. And, uh, <laughs> is it? So some power is taking care of it. You see? But this thought, I must take care of it, has grown to a mighty proportion. Mm -hmm. Yes, but it, yes, cause yes. It's, it seems like the body has not been healthy. Ah. And so then I'm questioning, well, what is taking care of it then? I've done apparently you know, my best, yes, yes. or what I thought was my best, and yet yeah. there was still not You know something? Some Maybe you may enjoy better health when you forget about it. That that is something I have considered, but there's that. Yes, this is yeah. It won't let go. So yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 This is what we were talking about. This one friend is here also. I'm sure about this thing. You want to let go of something, hmm? but you can't afford to let go because if you let go, catastrophe is waiting. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so this is already something. Uh, we did. We just did also. Nataraj just made one YouTube. He's here also. This friend called Catch Twenty Two. YouTube Catch Twenty Two. He said, "I am afraid to let go of something. I want to let go. I want to let go. I can't afford to let go, because if I let let go, then maybe catastrophe will happen. Something bad will happen. On top of this, he say, this feeling is in my core." Yes, there's this constant yes. knot yes. right here. Yes. So I was saying, what tremendous bad luck you have <laughs> to have all these things. The worst things can happen. Huh? You need to let go. I must let go in order to let go to existence. But I can't let go. If I let go, something is going to drop. And then it's in the very core, the essence is me, like this. Yeah. It's all thought. All of it is thought. You are already that perfect awareness, which is imperishable. Imperishable. 